Hi, this is Coach Chuck of the National Free Flight Society Youth Development Program. In this short video, we'll look at measuring the physical dimensions of your airplane for remote administered contests. Uh, this video is intended to uh, speed up the process of check-in and make sure you have the proper tools to quickly and cheaply do an accurate check-in before a video submittal. The next important thing to measure is the dimensions of your airplane to make sure it's not oversized. And at a contest, you're gonna have a dimensional gauge, something like this to place the plane in. You've got the wingspan across the top, you have the stab span and propeller diameter here, and the wing cord and propeller or uh, stab cord here. This was made fairly simply by printing out a uh, paper template taping it together where those X's are, and then gluing it down with your spray glue adhesive to a masonite board. It actually has a screw together section in the middle because I use this uh, out of town at an invite uh, and I had to fit it into my suitcase. But this is a lot of work to put together for uh, a one-off uh, measurement of your plane for a video submittal. So we're gonna go through a simple process that will allow you to measure your plane accurately and quickly. Uh, if you simply use a ruler, it's hard to see that on the um, uh, video and that ends up taking a lot of time. So what you're gonna need is a metric rule, uh, meter stick, or this one is actually a, a two fit, foot metal ruler uh, that was uh, part of a device I got from uh, Harbor Freight for uh, under $10. $10. So uh, the nice thing about it is the zero point, if I can get it in focus, is all the way at the end of the ruler. Uh, if you don't have a zero at the end of the ruler, you can make adjustments. So you'll need uh, that ruler at least two feet long. You'll need a single popsicle stick and you will need uh, for right stuff, uh, five index cards for electric right stuff, uh, four of these cards. So to prepare for measuring your plane, and you can do this at home, you're gonna take your index cards and across the top of each card, you're gonna put what the measurement is. This is 45 centimeter wingspan, 28 centimeter stab span, 24 centimeter prop, nine centimeter wing cord, and seven centimeter stab cord. You put those across the top. And I will do my best here with my limited arm to set this up. Now we're gonna take the popsicle stick and we're gonna firmly tape it to the end of our ruler. Remember our zero is at the end. You wanna get this tight to the end, make sure it's perpendicular to the ruler and pull the tape tight. I have half inch tape here, so I'll need two pieces. And this becomes our reference mark on our ruler. Now we're gonna start at the largest measurement and that is our 45 centimeter wingspan. We're gonna come in here and lay the card right across on the 45 line, like that. Now, you're gonna tape this bottom edge where it meets the ruler, but not the side. You wanna make sure it stays square to the ruler wrap the tape around. So now this can flip up, but this edge is right at the 45. You start with the largest and you work your way down to the smallest. And we'll see that in just a minute. So here we've completed putting our ruler together. We have the popsicle stick flush with the end of the ruler. If your ruler doesn't have zero at the end, you could use another index card and line it up with the zero or put the popsicle stick on top of the ruler. Um, but just make sure zero is zero. And then 
we start at the smallest is on top. So when we flip that down, we have the next largest. So we have seven centimeters, then we have nine centimeters, then we have 24 and 28, and finally 45 for the wingspan. The labels are to the left as you face the ruler so that they are closest to the point you're measuring. And now it's a very simple matter to show the judges, okay, this one says seven centimeters stab cord, and you can show on the video that it's lined up with seven, this one's lined up with nine, and so forth. Very quickly uh, show the judges that this ruler is set up, and then you're ready to uh, measure your plane. Set this ruler up at home, and you'll be ready to go. All right, here's our uh, ruler with the paper tabs on it, uh, ready for measurement. Notice I've taped to the table. We don't need the ruler being knocked off the table and bumping into the airplane and causing damage. At this point, you would, uh, the, the uh, coach can show the ES that the uh, ruler is set up per spec. And you would simply zoom in here and say, okay, the seven, meter stab, uh, seven centimeter stab cord is right on the seven centimeter line. Notice the longer line is the number. Nine centimeter wing cord, same thing. 24 centimeter prop, same thing. 28 centimeter stab span. And the 45 centimeter wing span. So at this point, you're ready to measure your planes. You've, you've proven to the ES that your uh, cards are set at the right width. Flip them all back down, and you'll start with the 7 centimeter stab cord, since that's the smallest. Okay, so first we'll measure the stab cord, which is a 7 centimeter slot here. And notice I'm putting the nose of the plane away from the roller, down the table there and I slide the stab in and it easily fits in the seven centimeter cord slot. Now we're gonna flip that card up to expose the nine centimeter wing cord. And again, I put the tail away from the ruler and I can slide the wing cord into that slot. You wanna make sure that the uh, card is flush with the edge of the ruler because if it's not, you can get a bigger or smaller slot. So you wanna make sure it's it's not at an angle. Now we open it up one more time and we can measure the propeller 24 centimeter span. And that one is tight. We may have to trim that one. Flip it up and we got 28 centimeter for the stab span. We just come in there, plenty of room. And finally, flip it up and we have the wingspan. We're going to drop it down between the popsicle stick and the cardboard. It fits just fine. 